Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about my July favorites. We are already in August and that just means that I'm like a month away from my birthday. Uh, my birthday is September 11th, so it's almost here. I'm excited yet sad because I'm gonna be turning 28. I know, I'm gonna be 28. Oh. It's only like two more years and I hit 30 like I'm super blessed that I'm able to make it up to 30 But I'm like man. Can I be 21 again? <sighs> but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump in and talk to you guys about my favorite products that I've been loving for the month of July There's a lot of stuff actually that I've been enjoying lately, but I don't want to make this video too long So I'll probably save it for next month um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna go ahead and start off with lipsticks. I've had a lot of favorite lipsticks lately, but these have been like my ultimate favorite and the ones that I've been like gravitating to the most. Um, the first one being from the Urban Decay Naked Collection, Naked Heat Collection. And this is the shade Fuel. It's like a really pretty nude color. Super gorgeous. It's a really pretty nude shade, you guys. You guys can see here I've been using it. Um, <laughs> but it's super gorgeous. I love to use this lipstick when I'm wearing like a gloss on top as well. It gives me like Kim Kardashian vibe when she wears like a new lipstick and then some gloss on top when you're wearing like a nice smoky eye. So I've been loving, loving this lipstick. And the next one, you guys, I've been loving this um, Infallible Paint matte by l'oreal it's also a really pretty nude i've been loving a lot of nudes lately so this one is super pretty too and i also like to use this like when i'm in a hurry and i have a very simple makeup look um i'm i really enjoy this formula it's super creamy and it's also mattifying at the same time since i don't like my lips feeling super dry this one has seriously been like one of my favorites um, for the summertime too. Now my next favorite product you guys that I've been loving so far is this Buxom Big Tease Plumping Mascara. I absolutely love, love, love this mascara you guys. The only thing that I don't like about it is that I, it does take out a lot of products so always make sure that you clean off your brush um, and apply the product towards the tube because I feel like if you don't do that it does apply a lot of product um, but I really do love the way that it makes my lashes look plumpier and they look longer and fuller so that's the reason why I really love this mascara because I haven't really found a mascara that actually does that for me I've tried a lot of mascaras that once you apply it it's very light and you have to go back in and in again to reapply more and with this one you don't have to reapply more like you know, on the other side, you have to take off a little bit more product on the brush, but I feel like even when I do that, it still applies a very good amount of product onto my lashes and they look plumpier and fuller. So I've been really enjoying that mascara. And now you guys, I'm gonna share with you guys a brush that I've been loving. Um, so every time I touch up, like if I start to feel like my face is starting to feel a little bit oily, you know, and I want to grab my favorite setting powder and apply it to my face underneath my eyes. I've been loving this brush. It's the Morphe M438 and I really like it because it's very thin and it fits really perfectly underneath the eye. So I like to dip into my powder and then just apply it like this. So I feel like this is like the perfect side. You can even get underneath your nose, on your chin, on top of your nose. So it's super, super perfect for that. So I think this is why I, I love it so much. Now the next thing you guys is um, the Beauty Blender. So I have a really funny story about the Beauty Blender. Um, I first tried it out and the first time I bought it and I didn't like the way that it applied my foundation. So the reason why was because, you know, with the Beauty Blender, it applies a foundation, but it applies it very naturally so it doesn't apply that much product onto your skin um so i feel like it didn't i feel like it soaked up a lot of the product i switched over to my real techniques beauty sponge again and started using that and then i don't know where i started to use the beauty blender a little bit more and more and i honestly end up loving it at the end so i really like the way that it really how pointy the beauty blender is sorry it's dirty because i just used it um, but I really like the way how pointy it is so it gets into these areas really really well And you can actually squeeze it and really get into those areas So I've really been loving this beauty blender um, and I like to use the bag too to like 
really blend in the product and I really like how you can like swirl it around too to even to even out the foundation or even move the product around so I've been really loving this little guy I can't seem to put him down so I've been using him for a few months now and I wanted to share this with you guys now for setting sprays you guys I've been loving my Mac fix plus I used I've used that for years years and years and years and I still actually still use it for my clients because I still like the way it still brings in moisture into the skin once you are done with your whole makeup application um, but lately I've bought this and I've been loving it it's the Caldelli Caldelli that's how you pronounce it <laughs> but I got the small size because I really wanted to just try it out I think this is like $18 at Sephora um, and I'm almost out of it like I've been using it non-stop on myself I'm not even gonna lie I use it on myself and on my clients and my clients seriously love this stuff they feel like it's really refreshing like every time I'm done with their makeup and I spray this on them they're like oh my god that smells so good and it feels kind of minty and it feels really fresh so for the summertime, this has seriously been like a really good setting spray for my clients. Flashes. I know I use these a lot and a lot of you guys have been wanting to buy them and the website is not up yet. I've been pressuring my girl to hurry up and upload her website. <laughs> but it's Wink Envy, you guys, and I absolutely love, love, love these lashes. The My favorite ones are 90s Baby, which are the ones that I use all the time. And the ones that I have on right now, I think these are called um, Chingona. Yeah, the names are so cute. These are Chingona, and I absolutely love them. And these are 90s Baby. Yeah, these are 90s Baby. These are like seriously like one of my favorite lashes. Like, look at them. They're super wispy and once you apply them on the eye, you guys could be wearing like a very natural makeup and or a very dramatic eyeshadow look and these seriously look so stunning. These ones and Chingona are seriously one of my favorites. Um, and then I think there's Batty. Batty is also a good pair too. They're almost almost identical to 90s Baby, but I feel like these are a little bit more, the, the lashes are a little bit more separate, like separated. Oh try it so they don't fall out for you but they're kind of almost the exact same but i feel like they're a little bit more straighter and more um with the and they're super comfortable um the band is super super light so you guys can like see right here it's super light it's not even like heavy it's not even like a thick band it's super lightweight so i absolutely love these now for some eyeshadow palettes which i which i am sure you guys are gonna know which one i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys no, that's been like seriously my favorite and my go-to so far. And yes, it was sent to me. Um, but funny story is that mine and my friends let me use her naked heat palette. <laughs> she used she let me use hers because I wanted to play with it first before I actually went and bought it out for myself. So I did the review on it for you guys, and then um I get a package from Urban Decay. I know. So insane I, it's still a dream come true like, it still feels really weird for me like I don't have that many followers on Instagram and the fact that Urban Decay reached out to me and let me be on their PR list yeah it's just insane a lot of pretty warm tones super gorgeous it's gonna be super bomb for the summertime you guys this is seriously gonna be like bomb 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 for summer and for also fall because it still has like those warm fall colors so i feel like it's going to be a really great palette for both seasons um and the colors blend out so bomb so 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 good i own the one two and three palette i never touched the i've never i didn't really really like the second the third i feel like the eyeshadows seemed a little patchy when I would apply like the darker shadows I feel like they applied more patchy and I feel like this one doesn't so I don't know if they approved their formula for their eyeshadows so if you guys don't have this I feel like this one you actually do need it in your life if you don't have these colors already though technically then you guys another palette that I've been absolutely loving is this Natasha Denona palette sorry it's really messy but I've been using this a lot a lot a lot on my clients this gold like seriously can we talk about these colors right now? Look at that. So gorgeous. And I did a video already on this palette, which I'll link down below if you guys want to watch that video. Um, but this palette has seriously been like bomb. I love using this color too, this purpley shade right here, 
when I do a half cut crease and I like to apply it towards the outer corner, it just gives my eye life. And I feel like these colors are super creamy, you guys, and they blend so well. I really want to buy one of their more higher end palettes. They're like $130. So I think this one's like 50 bucks. So, but this one like seriously has done the job for me. It's Stunning. I've been loving these little pads. I use it um, once I do my cleanser and then I apply my toner and then I go in with this and I feel like it gives my skin like more moisture and then when you it does feel a little bit oily though once you do apply this but I feel like once you apply it like the your clean your lotion your night cream um, I feel like you can't even feel it anymore, but it really makes a huge difference. I feel like my face feels more softer um, And I feel like it's given me like a little mini facial when I apply these I don't know how to explain it, but these are seriously so bomb. I've been loving Arbonne lately I've been using the um, might as well talk about them, right? I'm using the this is a toner and this is the restoring cream which has SPF of 20 so whenever I don't really feel like wearing any makeup especially right now since it's been so hot in Oregon I love using this moisturizer because it does have SPF in it um, but other than that it just makes my skin feel so good and then I've had like a lot of um, I've always had a lot of redness in this area of my skin and I feel like Arbonne has seriously really cleared that up for me like I don't have any more redness in my cheek area which is so weird for me because i'm very i have very very red skin um but this has helped it tone down i'm still a little red in these areas right here but my cheeks have sit have seriously toned down with the toner and the cleanser um with arbonne and especially with these things like seriously so if you guys are in oregon stay cool or wherever you guys are at stay cool i know it's super hot this summer and i'll catch you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe oh and there is a little bell notification bell on the right side of the subscribe button click that little bell because it will notify you when i upload a video so i'll catch you guys next time i love you and stay cool bye